Hi, it's Tim from Booth Events. In this video, we're going to check out the new custom HTML feature that lets us customize our galleries beyond what's normally possible. So if you saw the other video, we started with a really simple example where we took our gallery and we added these social icons, we changed the colors, and we added this call to action at the top that you can see here. What we're going to do now is take it one step further and we're going to use custom HTML to build our own call to action. Now it's worth mentioning that you need to have a Pro Plus subscription to use this feature. Okay, let's go to the events. Let's go to the branding tab and click on custom HTML. And again, you need to be a Pro Plus subscriber to come this far. Here I can see two editors where I can start editing my content. So let's just try with something simple and hit save. And we'll try reloading that. Okay, great. So now I can see there's my content at the top. And if we open a session page, if you remember sessions pages are where guests end up when they follow a link. So when they get an email or an SMS, this is where they end up. Okay, so then we see there's my custom content at the top and on the session page, it has bottom content as well. There's no point in trying to have bottom content on a gallery because galleries are endlessly scrolling in most cases. So the bottom content only shows up on the session page. Okay, great. So now what can we actually do with this? So first of all, it, the most obvious thing is that you can have your own custom code. You can write your own HTML code. That's why it's called custom HTML. And that means if you have your own styling, your own designer, your own developer, you can put your own stuff in here. Um, for the purposes of this video, we'll keep it simple. And we have spent some time making sure that it's easy to do the basic things. So let's start with those. So first of all, let's upload an image. So if I go to the image and then hit upload, browse for an image, let's find one. And here's my image. Great, I hit save. And now you'll notice that it's already, it's getting a little cramped in here. So let's just drag this down. I'm dragging on this little bottom right hand part of the corner here. And you can't make it wider. And the reason for that is we want you to think about what it's like when a guest is viewing this on a mobile phone, because most of your guests will be viewing these on mobile phones. And the width of this is more or less what a mobile phone is like. Okay, great. So now I've got this silly picture that I've created beforehand and I've uploaded it into my, my content here. Um, let's put some text so we can say, um, we are excited to give away um, a yacht to the lucky winner. Um, follow the instructions on our website to enter the contest. Okay, now let's say we want to have a button. So we've made a link for that. And that's this one here, this, uh, this little square thing here. If I click that, it'll just automatically create a button. Now to make this a link, I'm going to go and first edit the text, visit website. And now I'm going to go into the code and we're going to do it this way to make this link. Let's see, I've already got this anchor here. That's the link. So all I need to do is find where it's linking to and change it. Ah, here it is. That's the href there. So I'm going to put in my website instead. So let's go to google.ca. Great, and I'll save that. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Okay, cool. So there's my custom content at the top of the session page. Sorry, this is the gallery, my, at the top of the gallery page. And if I hit view website, off I go to Google. Fantastic. Now, let's go a little bit further. And we'll go back to the edit here. And we're going to put our own header in. So if you look back at the, the gallery in the session, they have this header up here which contains the gallery name, which is a link in the session case as well. And it contains the um, date 
and it has my social URL icons. But let's say that for whatever reason, I wanted to design this myself. I don't want this one. Okay, so the first thing we can do is we can turn it off. And we do that by selecting this option here. Hide the gallery and session page headers so that only my content is visible. Great. Okay, but I've just lost my social URLs because they were in there and now they're not there anymore. So let's go ahead and add those in. So we've made a button to make that super simple, and that's this one. And when I hit that, it's going to insert the icons I have. It also inserts a warning. Let's talk about that real quick. It says, hey, if you change the color or the link values, this doesn't get updated automatically. That means if I was to say, change my Facebook page to something else, I'd need to remember to come back here and change this. Okay, so let's go and see what that looks like. Let's reload our session. And it looks like I need to add a little bit more space at the bottom here, but you can see the gallery header has gone away like we set it to. And now things are starting to look good. It's starting to look more like a custom site. So let's just add some space at the bottom here. I'll just do one of these. If you know HTML, you know what I'm doing. Great, now I've got lots of space. And now I think there's a problem here because here I am at the session and there's no easy way to get back to the gallery. There is a button down there, but you can see that that link at the top was removed. So one of the things that we've added um, is a, a way to quickly insert a link back to the gallery. So let's just do that now. Say so I want to see all the other photos too. Um, click here, and that's this this button on the bar right here. So I hit that, and it inserts the name of the gallery, which is customizing the gallery, and it links it back to the gallery. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and save that. Reload. Okay, and there you have it. Our session page is looking fantastic. So. We are looking forward to seeing what you can create with this feature by adding your own content. If you have any questions, please reach out to us using the support on Booth.Events website. And if you want to see other videos made, please leave those as comments here in the video and we'll get to those as soon as we can. Thanks for watching.